hey welcome back to the engineer hall channel thanks for everyone to subscribing and liking the videos so today we're going to take a look at a recent release from walters now uh, if you have your seen walters flyers to get them in the mail you know that you can order stuff out of here and see what's upcoming releases so i paid an order in at of course yankee dabble there and my order finally came in so let's take a look uh what the order is so on this run i grab the convo cars i got one of each row number but there only was three of course it's a limited time run so i got the three here and also got three of the ns cars also and today's haul or today's pickup for my order i had got 12 of them today 12 out of uh was it uh 19 so I got a couple more to go here to finish out my train, but also I have other cars from a previous run that they have, and now you'll see those in the video. So let's unbox one car. You box one, you know, box them all. So it's pretty much the same thing inside, but we'll take a look what we, what we get. All right, so let's slide this guy over here. Inside the box, you got your part list here, and information about the car. Now, if you remember previously in the Walters platinum line and gold line that you had to put the cars together. So now this proto, they all come assembled and ready to go. So we got the bubble wrap securing the model there. So here I got the car as compared to one another. As once again, same car body, but different stenciling here. As you can see, uh, they both have the installed grab irons here stair ups door detail and also stair ups and grab lines here on this side of the car and also had jack and pad detail also on both of the cars taking a look at the a in the car they both have their installed grab barns here the Cairo has the installed air reservoir but the ns uh, doesn't have one but they both have their road name and the road number stills on the end of the car also have the grab irons here on the ends of the cars now looking at the v in the car because at the handbrake on this end also the side does have installed grab irons here camera once again have more detail added here on the car and of course the ns doesn't and both have the ground bars here on the end of the cars also on the package if you want to model the mechanism that opens the door they also give you a spare part here to do it so I looked up the road name and the road number. This is what I came in with. I found the actual car. So the model does not match the prototype, but as far as the stenting labeling goes, it matches uh, you know very well. So come down here to the Conroe logo with the can opener. It's there on the top of the left, and you got the road name, road number is here. Information on the car. You even had the FR reflecting tapes here. Come across over here. You have your Conroe quali quality logo. Come down, you got the H1K information above it, and also with your lube board and build date information here, and also information here. Also, let's see, check out the doors. See, the, the doors is fine on the model, but I gotta take off this little piece right here that would match the pro. Now, to operate the doors, you get air from the main reservoir from the uh, locomotive, and it's go through car to car to car. And this actually opens up the doors. Like the ladder on the side, this has a ladder. This one has grab irons here. Here you're gonna compare the model to the prototype. So we're gonna look at one car here off the run. Now I'll take a look at that. I looked at the road name and road number, and that's what I came up with. But the model does not match the prototype. Only thing that the model match other prototype is the stencil and label as far as the uh, and that's a little big on the model, but uh the side is here on a prototype. Road name, road number, the information about the car. You got the yellow FMR reflecting tape there, and pretty much builder's plate. And you got more information here and H70 here on this uh, car. So, this particular car uh, goes well with a different road name or road number, but this particular one, it doesn't. So, let's pop a load off here and I see what the details inside the car there we go. pop that up load come off and still load up close 
take a look inside the car. Now, one thing I will say about these proto cars, they short and heavy, and look how easy it just rolls. Now that's some good rolling wheels. So here at the booth, now we our new NS cars here that we got from my Walters. This is their little dad I took out. But from an older run of CSX cars and Cairo cars, it's their loads here. So there are little slight differences in here in the uh, loads. When I'm had everything together, I'm going to hit it with this uh, Mod Podge here for the first coat. And I'm going to use this Willick Scenix uh, bottles here in the medium blend. So we got a Mod Podge here and a step container because I don't want to contaminate the Mod Podge there. So we got it in the cup. So with this, I'm going to brush that bad boy on here. As I say, results may vary. Should put that out there. Take the product up and just sprinkle it on. Now here we have this right here. And this is where Eric get well um, off of stone chance we have here. I had it in the garage for like years. So I you know when stone dumped out the product I just goosed up in the bag and stuff laying around. So we're gonna sprinkle this on here. I sifted it out, make it very really fine, I just gonna fit it on there. with the senior cement 